welcome back to my channel. My name is Sydney if you're new here and if you're not new here then hey welcome back. So today is Wednesday November 3rd. I can't believe we're already in November and I'm going to be taking you through a very 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 busy day in my life. So if you are new here I am a an online college student studying digital marketing, but I'm also a freelance social media manager slash consultant. So I wear a lot of hats um, and I have a lot of things going on. So today I have a lot of meetings and a lot of um, appointments and things that I have to do. So I thought it'd be a good day to bring you all along um, and show you guys what a day in my life looks like since I'm doing things for both my job and for school. This morning you saw I got ready. I've just been working on some stuff for some clients. Um, I like to section off my time and so this morning I'm focusing more on client work because at 10 I have a meeting that's kind of social media based. When I get back from that meeting then I will switch gears over to school. I don't have a ton of stuff to do for school, I just have a paper to write. Um, but then at 4 o'clock I have a meeting with my group for a group project and then at 6 o'clock I am actually the Rotary Liaison for the High School Interact Club which is a volunteer service organization um, and so I'm going to go to that and and leave that group but yeah and then tonight I'm going to be facetiming my best friend Kate I'm so excited because I haven't talked to her since she got back from her wedding or since I got back from England um, so yeah it'll be a good day but lately I have been keeping track of everything that I have to do on this notebook and on one page per week so instead of doing little to-do lists each day um, I kind of section it off so you can see I have school up here and then I have life slash work and then I have schedule. So it's on schedule, this is today, this is today, this is today, and this is today. So lots of things going on today. But before we get too far into this video, I got a package in the mail yesterday that I'm really excited about and I wanted to open it on camera. So I've been saving it to open it today on camera. So I'm gonna go up to my room really quick and we're gonna be opening that package. Also, I'm still in my pajamas. It's just a little matching set, but when you work and do school from home, that's just how it goes. So I'm actually working with Mapafolt for today's video, and so that is why I have this package to open for you guys. So if you did see my room tour, I have worked with them before. That is where I got my map of Manchester. But Mapafolt is a company that lets you create your own maps or personalize like prints. And they're absolutely beautiful, so I got a print this time and I'm really excited about it. And it's in a frame, so I'm assuming that's why it's in this ginormous box, but let's do some unboxing. Okay, so I feel like right here would be a good place to open this up. Um, I think it goes this way because my name's up on this part. Let's, let's open this girl up here. Do not judge the way that I'm opening this. Okay, so here's the frame and then this is going to be my print. Oh, I can already see it. I'm so excited. I'm just going to pull it out of here. If I can. Oh, it's so beautiful. I'm so excited, it's so beautiful. Okay, let's give it a look. <laughs> okay, so it's just this little line art. I chose line art because last time I did the map and so I thought it would be different to do like a little print. I put my favorite quote on the bottom that says, be fearless in the pursuit of what sets your soul on fire by Jennifer Lee. And that quote has literally changed my life. Like when I heard that for the first time, it like was life changing and eye opening. And so I thought what better way to get it on a print. So I'm so excited. I'm going to put it in the, in the frame really quick and then I'll let you guys see it. Are we ready? Ah, it's so beautiful. I think I'm going to put it above my bed like right up there instead of those shelves because those shelves were just kind of there from before I rearranged my room. But thank you so much to Mapiful for sending me this print. I'm so excited. And just to have my favorite quote hanging in my room, it's so like amazing and it'll just remind me every single day to be fearless and to go after my dreams. And so if you wanna create your own Mapiful map or print, you can use code Sydney 10 for 10% off through the end of December. These would make absolutely wonderful gifts. They're just so fun to tell your story, whether it be a map of some place you've been or some place that's important to you or your old home or something like this that reminds you of your favorite quote or to follow your dreams. Whatever it be, you can customize it at mapable.com using code Sydney 10 for 10% off. But let's take a little bit of a closer look at this and then we will get on with our day. And it's so big actually, so I think I'm gonna put it 
like right up there maybe. Um, we will have to see. That's a job for when my dad gets home. But thank you so much to Matt before for sending me this. I'm so excited to use it and put it in my room. But now that I finally can open this, it's time to move on to the rest of the day. So before I get back to my work, I think I'm going to make myself some breakfast because I've been sipping on my coffee. I love to just like get up and sip on my coffee for a little bit before I make breakfast. And if you hear my dogs walking around, they're just excited. So I think I might just make a bagel this morning and then get back to some social media work before my meeting at 10. So it is 8.30 right now and I have a meeting at 10 in town that I need to get ready for. And yes. Hey dude, do you want a bagel? Oh, do you need to go outside? Is that what you want? No, you don't want to go outside? What do you two want? Huh? Hi. Hi. sit here and eat my bagel. I'm going to work on a reel for a client so I'm just making a little quick reel that I can post later today. After that I'm going to probably work on a little assignment thing that I have to work on for a possible internship. I have most of it done but I just need to finish it up but like I said trying to just stick with social media stuff for right now so that way when I get back from um, my thing at 10 o'clock then I can pivot and work on school. So So I just sent over the reel to my client to be approved and she loves it so I'm going to be posting that later today but it's about 9 24 now um, I've been working on some other social media work but I'm gonna go get ready to go into town so basically what I'm doing today is I'm going in to the boutique that I used to work at and helping the owner make this TikTok so she's been like popping off on TikTok like doing amazing and so I'm going in there to help her make this like Christmas TikTok which is so funny because she like decorated her shop for Christmas and so I'm going to be going in there and helping her do that and so I need to get ready because obviously I'm still in my pajamas. Okay I'm dressed now I don't think I'm going to do any makeup today I might put on some mascara or something but my outfit right now I have this jacket from Zara it's my absolute favorite I got it while I was in England um, my jeans are also from Zara I'm going to be wearing some like little fake converse things but those are downstairs um, and then my shirt it's so cute it's from my friend Lauren Doan's um, merch and it just says be kind to humankind and it's like a little embroidered thing it's really cute but it's cold outside so I needed the jacket over it today I'm going to go put on my shoes and then we're gonna head there and then I'm thinking after I go there I want to get some coffee but we shall see my car was literally frosty this morning it is cold Okay, I just got done doing the TikTok. It was so cute. We did the sound from Elf that's like, all right, people, tomorrow morning, 10 a.m., Santa's coming to town. And then I had like rocking around. I can't sing, but I had rocking around the Christmas tree. And we did like, I was a little guy that went, Santa! And then we did like little clips of everything that she has in the shop. She has so much in there. I'm going to tag her, um, website down below that you guys can go shop on it. Um, it's called Homegirls Boutique. She works so incredibly hard. I'm so proud she's grown it so much um, just within the past like few years. And so her shop is so cute. She has so many cute Christmas things. But she's having like an open house thing tomorrow. So she'll be fun. But now it is 1030. Um, I'm thinking I was going to go get a coffee, but I'm kind of not wanting one because I feel energy from my coffee earlier. So maybe I will just go home and it's time to start working on some schoolwork. Uh. <laughs> Okay, I'm back after a few hours. Um, I just checked off a major to-do list item that I've been needing to do this week, which was a thing for a potential internship. 
Um, but I want to show you guys the TikTok, or it was a TikTok and then she posted it on Reels, but I want to show you guys the TikTok that we made because it's so funny. Um, but then after that, I think I'm going to eat some lunch. Okay, people, tomorrow morning, 10 a.m., Santa's coming to Santa. Santa. Christmas tree, have a Christmas party. Oh, my God. So that is the real that's really funny um but i think for lunch so i think i'm gonna make a little sandwich on these little buns that my mom has been getting they're just from walmart they're just fresh steak rolls and we cut them in half and we make tiny sandwiches on them and then maybe an apple um yeah so i think that's what i'm gonna make for lunch eat it and then after that i'm going to actually do schoolwork. i told jake i've been procrastinating jake is my brother by the way if you didn't know I've been procrastinating doing my paper all day by doing other work that needed to be done, but I also need to do my paper. So now I have no excuse because the paper is the only thing I have left besides the group projects that I'm doing tonight on my call, which is at four. So that means I have plenty of time to do my essay that I do not want to do. But first, we eat lunch. You would not believe that I am 22 years old because I eat like a little kid. Like this is what my little... Um, nine-year-old brother has for in his, his, his in his school lunch today, but that's what we're having. Um, so right now it is time to start my paper. Actually, not start it. I just have to continue it. I just am to the part that I don't want to do anymore. Um, but we just FaceTime Charlie, and we also interrupted him doing his work. So I'm like, eh, maybe I should do my work. Um, but it is one o'clock now. I have three hours to my meeting. I'm gonna try to get a lot of this paper done. It's not due till Sunday, but I like to get things done on Wednesdays. So. That's what I'm gonna do. Or should I do a Pilates workout? No. <laughs> we shouldn't do Lappy Dolls rule. I'm going to set my timer and work on this for at least an hour and a half. And then after that, I will let myself do a workout. I've been doing Pilates with Move with Nicole, I think is her name. My friend Kate does it. But I really like her classes and they're only like 20 to 30 minutes each time um, in their videos on YouTube. And so I just have been following them in my room. So I think I might do that after I work. But I need to get some of this schoolwork done before doing that because this is important, I guess. Whatever. <laughs> I'm working out and I'm back in my regular clothes minus the jacket. Um, basically just did like a stretching yoga sort of thing. Felt really good since I've been sitting all day and now I here I am sitting again. But the time is 3.30 now. I have 30 minutes until my meeting with my group for school and so I'm going to try to like grasp what we're doing in this group project. I actually have no idea. It's for my international marketing class and we have to develop like an international business and talk about how we're entering international markets. And Sydney has no idea what she's doing, so hopefully the other girls do. And we're not on here until I have to, whoa, that was so loud. And we're not on here until I have to leave at like 5.30, because I do not want to be on here that long, but we shall see. I literally hate group projects, because I always feel like I'm being bossy, but I just always go into them trying to like know what we want to do so we're not just sitting there like staring at each other especially because I don't know any of these people because they're online um and so I just got off the call it was 50 minutes we were all kind of working on the same document and then we still have one more assignment to do that we didn't even get to so that should be interesting um working on that but I don't know I just sometimes need to just take a step back and like not actually try to take control of things but if we do that, then nothing gets done because everyone just sits there and stares at themselves, stares at each other. Oh, sorry for my little rant, but it is five o'clock now. I'm about to go downstairs, hang out with my family for a little bit before I have my meeting. Um, I have to go pick up my friend Sophia and bring her to the meeting. And I have like these 
a ton of like posters and markers because they're gonna be making posters and all that good stuff. So yeah, my camera's not tonight. Okay, I just got back from Interact Club um, and it went so well. I had so many kids show up this time when we made posters. It was so, so cute, but it is 7.30 now and I'm gonna FaceTime my friend Kate and I'm so excited because we haven't talked since her wedding and since I got back from England. So I'm so excited. I'm about to call her and I'll let her say hey in the vlog. And that is the last thing on my very busy day to do. Okay, so I just got done well, a little bit ago talking to Kate. It was so good to talk to her. I didn't get her on the video. I actually forgot. We were just so busy talking and we had so much to talk about, catch up on. We decided that we need to talk more often so we don't have these huge catch up dates because we literally almost text every single day. Like, it's just so great that YouTube has brought me such amazing friends. I'm gonna get emotional about it, but like, YouTube has brought me so many amazing friends and opportunities and I'm just so thankful for you guys because without you guys, I wouldn't have had the um, courage to keep going with this and to, you know, meet people through this platform and I'm just so thankful for it. But right now, it is 8.42. I'm drinking some water because I have not drank enough water today. Um, and then I think I'm gonna take a shower really quick pretty soon and start my night routine. So I'll just kind of like run through that montage like. And then, yeah, tomorrow I have a pretty busy day. Just kind of chilling for the rest of the night. I was about to light a candle, but honestly, I don't think I'm gonna be awake for that much longer because I'm so tired from today because it's just a super busy day. But thank you guys so much for joining me along um, on today's journey. Um, if I end up hanging up my Mapful print, which thank you so much to Mapful for sending me this. I'm so excited about it. Um, I'm going to be hanging it above my bed, but I just have to get my dad to put a nail in the wall and take down the shelves that are already there. But once I hang this up, I will insert a picture or I'll post it on my Instagram. So be sure to follow me on Instagram. My name is at Sydney Himbro and you'll see me put this up on my wall. But remember you can use code Sydney10 for 10% off your map for order and you can order a beautiful print like this. And these would make such a beautiful Christmas presents. Like I said, they have maps, but then I just did a cute little line print, a line art print here. Um, and it turned out absolutely beautiful. With that being said, I'm gonna montage tonight and I will see you guys in the next video. Good night, guys.